real quick for a mic check. You don't mind saying and spelling sure. the name for me. Steven Diaz, S T E V E N Diaz, D I A Z. Uh, perfect. And if you don't mind giving just a brief background, um, what branch of the military mm -hmm. you served in, um, your time in that branch, I believe, was the Marines. Yeah. Right? So if you don't mind, just a little bit of background there. Okay. Uh, I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I was a corporal in the Marine Corps. Uh, I served eight, three years uh, in the Marine Corps. Um, Iraq veteran, I was injured in Iraq in 2005. I uh, spent a year and eight months uh, recovering in a, in a naval hospital and uh, came back to Columbia, South Carolina, where I'm now seen as a uh, outpatient at Dorn VA Medical Center. And what has your experience been like at Dorn so far? My experience has been just, you know, like everyone else, you, you go in for your appointments, um, you go in for treatment, and at times there's, there's weight, um, and sometimes they're not. It, you know, it just depends on, um, you know, just like, it's just like any, of, uh, any other hospital. Uh, if you have a lot of, a lot of patients coming at the time, you're going to experience a wait. And currently, right now, with a lot of veterans returning home um, from Afghanistan, and that number is just going to exponentially get bigger. Um, you know, they might experience longer wait times. It's up to the VA to to catch up uh, and try to help those those growing numbers. And. Um Say that you are a veteran, you're injured, you have to go to the hospital. How important is your medical care? Where you go for that care? How important do you think that is to your recovery process? You know, say you go to a hospital where it's, you know, um, just very, very good quality of care, where you feel like you're really being taken care of, good doctors, quick response times. How is it if you're somewhere like that versus what they say? is going on at Dorn. What do you think that plays a role in terms of your recovery? Well, it, going to a hospital where the majority of the people there are veterans is a great, it's good, um, because there's, there's already a problem with veterans and the stigma of if something's wrong with you, you don't ask for help. You suck it up and keep going. Um, the advantage of a veterans hospital or Dorn here is that we have such a huge military population. Um, that the veterans can go to a place um, where they're going to get the care that they need and also the proximity of Dorn being in Columbia uh, and then being next to Fort Jackson, one of the biggest military training installations, um, those are all just advantages of being close to, to Dorn. Um, and ha uh, have you had any personal contact with people who have experienced what they are reporting is going on during the long wait times or they have you know something like they're prolonging uh, the wait time for a colonoscopy and it turns out that there's cancer and it's getting into a later stage because they haven't been seen. Have you had any contact with anybody who's experienced something in that realm? Well before? with hidden wounds we have a lot of experience with the veterans in the area that are dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder, suicide prevention and some veterans that do end up having to wait for whatever the reason it is, we've made a relationship and a partnership with, with Dorn where we know all the suicide prevention specialists and a lot of the counselors there. And we work hand in hand where if a veteran for, in case that worst case scenario, that a veteran has to wait, Hidden Wounds can provide that safety net for those veterans. And then once an appointment has opened up or they're able to see a, a caseworker, a social worker at the VA, we can get that, we can get them seen by the VA and just create that seamless uh, transition. That's that's our mission is to you know to have that uh, that partnership with the VA and not not work against them. No one's going to get any help that way. I mean, what if you guys weren't here? I mean, shouldn't they essentially be providing care to where they didn't need to be? Kind of supplementary organizations. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Like, what if y'all weren't here? What would happen? If Hidden Wounds wasn't around um, and the VA couldn't provide those services, then you know the number of of veterans, uh, or maybe the death rate, or or 
the problems w obviously would just you know would just be higher. But those are all what ifs, and it's you know what's going on what's going on now. And the whole reason Hidden Wounds was created is because we saw that there was a there was a gap, and instead of instead of attacking the VA or or just constantly thinking about what are the negatives, we wanted to create something positive about it. Uh, and so that's why Hidden Wins was created and, and since 2009 we've had a great relationship with Dorn VA and we've together have saved a lot of lives. And yeah, especially with soldiers who have something like PTSD, what do you think is, um, how important is it for them to have places where they can go for not only medical care but also emotional support as well? How important do you think that second part is? Well, it's, it's very important because as a veteran, when you get out of the military, you want to go somewhere that can provide the health services that you need. You don't want to run around all over the state trying to go to different places for whatever care that you need. So having a place that provides your, your physical um, health as well as mental health all in one building, you have a one-stop shop. So that's very important for veterans. Okay. And I mean, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I mean, what are your feelings on the level of care that's being provided at Dorn right now? In general, I can only speak on, you know, my personal experience. And again, it's it's you know, some clinics work faster than others. It really just depends on on, on the personnel. I can't judge the whole VA uh, institution um, based on you know certain clinics. Um, some work faster than others, and, and you have to also have the patience. Um, and have a good attitude when you go in there. And that's, that's the advice that we give veterans. And sometimes we'll go with veterans um, to make sure that they're getting uh, the care that they need, is it, it, to have that, uh, provide them that comfort that another veteran is helping them out. That's all I've got. Okay. <laughs> I know you can't really say. One. Unfortunately, still. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, Schultz. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, soldiers are not always able to take advantage of organizations like Hidden Wounds and the trauma that they experience. One. Unfortunately, soldiers are not always able to take advantage of organizations like Hidden Wounds, and the trauma that they experienced while at war is too much for them to bear. Three. Three, two, three, two, one. Unfortunately, soldiers are not always able to take advantage of organizations like Hidden Wounds, and the trauma that they experienced while at war is simply too much for them to bear. Three, two, three, two, one. Unfortunately, soldiers are not always able to take advantage of organizations like Hidden Wounds, and the trauma that they experienced while at war is simply too much for them to bear. I don't like that one. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, soldiers are not always able to take advantage of organizations like Hidden Wounds, and the trauma that they experienced while at war is simply too much for them to bear. Three, two, one. 